This is no ordinary abortion clinic. This is the abortion clinic of the infamous Dr. George Tiller, who specializes in aborting second and third trimester babies, babies that in many cases could survive outside their mother's womb. There's something else that makes this clinic notable. While well known in the Kansas area, it is relatively unknown to the rest of the nation that the profits from this abortion clinic have been used to build, if not create, the political career of Governor Kathleen Sebelius. George Tiller has not only given money to her political campaigns, in 2002, Tiller created and funded his own political action committee to assist Sebelius in her bid for governor, attacking her pro-life opponent. He launched this PAC with $200,000 of his own dollars and then raised an additional $70,000 from other abortionists, making it the largest political action committee in the state of Kansas in 2002. Additionally, Tiller funneled money directly from this abortion clinic into Governor Sebelius' own political action committee. Shortly thereafter, she vetoed a measure passed by the Kansas legislature that it would provided minimal, minimal health care standards for abortion clinics. Coincidence? Well, it is this latest revelation of this latter transaction that has caused a new round of questions to be raised in Washington regarding Governor Sebelius's bid to become the new secretary of the Department of Health and Human Services. This is the second time Sebelius's integrity has been called into question. Shortly after her nomination, it was revealed that she had not paid all of her taxes. And even though the financial connection between Sebelius and Tiller was well known in Kansas politics, the governor failed to disclose the connection that she has with Tiller to the United States Senate, who must confirm her nomination. Was this an oversight or was it intentionally done to keep her strong ties to the darkest side of the abortion industry a Kansas secret? Regardless, if this second lapse does not raise questions of her integrity with members of the United States Senate, it certainly should raise questions about her ability to oversee the federal government's largest agency. Call your senators today and urge them to protect the integrity of America's health care system and oppose Kathleen Sebelius as secretary of HHS. For more, visit frc.org.